Hey, hey, everybody. Welcome back to another video, the T on MPD and relationships. Hello, everybody. Hello, family. Listen, before we get started, I want to say hello to all of my new family members, new subscribers. Hello, everybody. To my tribe and family at large, welcome back. Thank you all so much for coming back and watching another video. Of course, I always love to uh, mention our Thursday night live streams. We go live every Thursday night right here here on the channel at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Yes, we do. 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. We go live right here on the channel. Of course, I want to mention our all-access VIP membership. Hit that join button today. Make sure you join up for your all-access VIP membership perks. Listen, I get, I, listen, I do not think that you will be disappointed. I think you'll be very happy with your choice, okay? It is on the desktop version of YouTube. Also, you can get the desktop version by uh, going to on your mobile devices and, and um, accessing uh, the YouTube full site uh, version on YouTube and you'll find the join button. I believe you'll find the join button there as well. All right, every time we drop a video on the channel, the goal of the day is 1.2K plus 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 okay if you rocks with your girl if you rocks with your girl hit that like button for me one time all right all right all right y'all so let's jump into the topic of this video though let's talk about these crows honey these crows ain't loyal they ain't loyal y'all they ain't loyal but anyway to, uh today i want to talk about um i want to talk about you know why the narcissist cannot truly apologize to you you know we we often hear you know they will never apologize you know people talk about they you know the fact that they won't but there's a reason why you know they they just can't you know they can't apologize and I don't care how many times they do something and they say to you, oh, well, you know, um, I, I, you know, I'm just sorry, you know, about what I did. <clears throat> Excuse me. I learned my lesson and I realized the error of my ways. They'll tell you all of that. You know, they'll tell you all that. All right. They'll tell you that. But here's the deal. This is what you have to understand about narcissists is that a true apology is being sorrowful or remorseful for what you've done okay being remorseful for what you've done you actually state to the person what you've done and I even say I know how that may have made you know made them feel or you know whatever you acknowledge how that made them feel you know what I'm saying and then a true apology means that a person's action changes okay we got to talk about what a true apology is okay because an apology without a change in action that's not an apology what that is is manipulation i said it y'all hit that like button already y'all need to hit that like button please for me already all right so uh, uh an apology with no change in action that's manipulation that's not an apology all right so now when we begin to, now when we're talking about a narcissist they can't apologize to you just plain and simple for one thing let's just get let's let's go ahead and pull this out here for one thing you have to have true emotional empathy which is authentic empathy in order to apologize to a person meaning that you have to have the innate ability to feel that you have harmed someone you have, you have to be able to naturally feel that to sin to sincerely feel that okay a narcissist doesn't feel that a narcissist have narcissists have what we call especially the covert narcs the covert narcs have what we call um, cognitive empathy Cognitive empathy means that they know they did something wrong. They know they probably, you know, upset you or angered you about something. And 
they're going to apologize or they'll they'll apologize because it's it, well they won't apologize they'll just say something to you because it's not a true apology because they know that it's the right thing to do okay it's the proper thing to do at that moment let me not say right because they don't think it's right either way because they don't want to apologize to you um but they have cognitive empathy but that's one of the reasons why they can't but the other piece of that let me talk about the spiritual piece of it you know this is where this is where it really gets down to the nitty-gritty is that the spiritual piece of it when you think about the spiritual backdrop of a narcissist and what type of spirit actually embodies this person we're not talking about something we're not talking about an entity that even sees that anything is wrong with it you understand what I'm saying? What you have to understand about the kingdom of darkness and what you have to understand about the enemy himself, he is, he was the first narcissist ever, okay? The enemy never, ever apologizes for anything that he does to any of the people that he enslaves. Never. When have you ever seen or heard that the enemy apologized to God for anything that he has done? Why? He's never going to apologize. He said that he will, He wanted to sit his throne high above the stars. You know what I'm saying? He wanted to ascend like God. Okay? That's what the enemy said. So you have to think that this same spirit, because he was the first narcissist, so they are going to be patterned right after him. Oh, I said it. They're going to be patterned right after him because they're nothing but foot soldiers for the kingdom of darkness. All right? So... You're gonna get and you gotta see it like this because I have to help you understand why they cannot apologize to you spiritually. They can't, they cannot. Why? Because, for one thing, they can't have empathy. I told you before. Anytime a spirit comes in, it is going to change the consciousness or it's going to change something about the consciousness of a person. Okay. Now, when you are dealing with a narcissist, you are dealing with, you are dealing with legions. Okay. Of uh, dark demonic forces that are at work here. Okay. So when you're dealing with that, you have to understand that they would not make a very good host for legions of demonic forces if they had a consciousness of true empathy if they had a, a consciousness of being able to say listen i know i did something wrong to you no the consciousness that they must have in order to be a great host for these demonic forces is they have to have one of pride which is nothing more than the, the spirit of leviathan they have to have that jezebelic type spirit which means they want to control everything they have to have zero empathy. I'm talking about emotional empathy. This is what makes them good breeding grounds for these dark forces. They can't apologize. They cannot truly apologize to you with all of that going on. At most or at best, what you're going to get is a haphazard, I'm sorry, and the actions will not change. Y'all going to testify in the comment section. I'm, I know you are. I know you're going you're gonna to testify and say that bird, I'm going to tell you something, that Chinese crest that called themselves apologizing to me, and guess what? The actions never change. I already know what time it is. That's what I'm telling y'all. It's not the fact that they want to apologize and they just will not. No, they can't. Period. They cannot. Okay? They can't. And then not only that, okay, so you got these spirits at work that are preventing them from doing so because they also with what with that with the spirits that you got at work there is a sense of entitlement which stands right there with that thing called pride no it doesn't allow them to do it how dare you ask me to apologize after you done sat up there and told me no because I wanted to take all of the money out of your bank account and go out there and uh, and pay for prostitutes and you know pay for uh, dates with other women or if, uh, for men. You all uh, y'all done been involved with women that was out there blowing your money on other uh, other men and then you know for you you women you are you are involved with a narcissist out there blowing his money on other women. 
You know what I'm saying? And and it's and, that, and that's how it goes. And sometimes they blowing it on same sex. How dare you tell me no for abusing you? This is what they think. I'm telling you, family, this is how they get down with it. This is how they get down. So what you have to understand is that it's not a it's it's not a matter of, oh well, maybe they could just tell no. No, they cannot say they cannot authentically apologize to you period and that is simply the reason the the reason for that is the spiritual piece of that is such a huge part of why they cannot do that because when you have spirits inside of you that does not allow you to apologize doesn't allow you to do certain things that it is what it is until those spirits are gone out of you you're going to continue to do exactly what you do now, um, so, you know, we could even go deeper spiritually, but I'm going to leave it right there. You know, I'm going to leave it right there spiritually. But, you know, you, you think about, oh, well, you know, why, why can't, why can't they just, just a simple, I'm sorry. No. And then the actions, how is a narcissist going to change their actions when the, um, when the cycle that they're going through or they're taking you through is a pathological cycle? It's pathological. OK, you think that because they're going with somebody else or they, they're going to they're in another relationship that they're going to actually change who they are. They're not going to change. And that person is only going to be a matter of time before they start going through the love bomb. They already going through that. The devalue and discard that cycle does not change. It's the same thing. So when we're talking about, you know, why, why, you know, we're talking about a, per, uh, a narcissist. A narcissist cannot apologize. They just can't. They don't have cognitive. They don't have emotional empathy. They only have cognitive empathy. Not only that, the spirit and the, you know, the force that drives them is dark. Okay. So they're never going to apologize and change their actions because that's what a true apology is. They will give you a half hearted, I'm sorry, and their actions will never change. They will go right back to doing the same thing that they did and actually even worse okay you you sit up there and and you know they're sitting up there looking at you like you you don't even deserve an apology you know you you're requiring more out of them you know and you actually want them to to connect with you you want them to do all kinds of things that they can't do they think that you're being ungrateful for that when all you're doing is asking them to just behave properly in a relationship do what normal people do Normal people in relationships connect. You're not with a normal person. You're with an abnormal person that has a straight up personality disorder that is powered by dark demonic, for demonic forces. I said it. I said it. I said it. Yes, I did. And I want y'all to hit that like button, please. Because it's the truth. It's the truth. I, I, it's so sad to see people, you know, just keep going around and around with these people, just wishing and hoping and praying that they would just apologize and really mean it. You're not going to get that out of them. You're just not going to get it out of them. They don't have it to give. They don't have it to give. And you asking them for a, a, an apology and a change, all it does, it, it, all it does is annoys the mess out of them. And it makes them want to actually treat you worse. It does. It makes them so. So when you're when you're talking about you know, and it doesn't matter what you do, and it doesn't matter how how you model different things. You know, tell the narcissist, listen, I apologize to you. You know, I tried to do this and that for you. It doesn't matter how you try to bring up what you've done and the, and the way that you've handled business and how kind and and. Uh, how kind and and human you have been to them i said human because they are they they act like they are inhumane and they treat you inhumane they act like they're inhuman okay and they treat you inhumane pretty much i know y'all going to testify in the comments but this is this is what happens and it's the saddest thing in the world because people sometimes all folks want is just to be to be understood and to and to uh and and for 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 a narcissist to just apologize and change and stop hurting them they can't do that they can't 
A narcissist cannot apologize to you because they don't feel like you deserve it. They can't do it because of the spirit that powers them. They have a sense of entitlement. You know, they have zero emotional empathy. The only empathy they have is cognitive empathy. And so they'll only say sorry because it's the it, it's it's the thing to say right then and there. But there's not gonna there's not gonna be a change in the action, family. It's not. So they can't. Plain and simple. Stop looking for it. Stop wishing for it. Stop hoping for it. The only thing you can hope for is if they get an exorcism. <laughs> it's the truth. And about three million hours of um of a behavioral cognitive therapy and you nine times out of ten we'll all be gone before them them three million hours is over okay who i don't know how how long that is but i look 20 million i don't know a eternity of behavioral cognitive therapy meaning they don't never stop going that part they need to be in there 24 7 and then we can only still hope that we see some type of glimmer of a flicker of change. I'm telling you, y'all, these Chinese crests is a hot mess express. So, family, I wanted to get this out here. I want y'all to just really reflect on what I said here. They can't. They they can't give you what they don't have. They just can't apologize. They can't. Because in their eyes, they didn't do anything wrong. You did everything wrong. You did everything wrong. You're going to take accountability. You're going to take the blame for everything. And that's and that's the that's the other piece. That's the last part of it that I wanted to make sure I put in there. They they're not going to take accountability for Jack. Diddly nor squat. Okay? So these crows with bows are not loyal. Okay? Now you got some crows with bow ties. All right? So family, I wanted to get this out here for y'all. Listen, be good to yourselves and I will see you all on the next video, family. And I will see you all healed at the top. All right, family. Shalom. Peace.